with us, sir. Uh, Rick, thanks for having me on. I it's always good it. to see you. Hey, uh, are you going to vote for thanks. Christopher Dodd's uh, reform bill? No. No, this, the bill that came out of committee is not a good bill. It's not constructive. In my opinion, it will, in my opinion, contract credit rather than make it more available. And in the end, it's probably not going to address the core issues here. The number one issue being how you avoid systemic risk. Mm. And the number two issue being how you keep America as the best place to create capital and get credit in the world. Okay, but it sounds like you have a different reason than Mitch McConnell, who's calling it a bailout. This isn't a bailout, is it? Well, the issue of whether or not it ends too big to fail, which is very important. We need to end too big to fail because mm -hmm. it perverts the marketplace. If people think that the taxpayers are going to come in and support a certain company uh, simply because it's big and, and it, even though it gets into trouble, then you have a misallocation of capital and resources. So that has to end. And the Dodd bill doesn't go as far as I'd like. It doesn't go as far as the agreement which was reached between Senator Corker and Senator Warner, which was a good agreement and I think could be put in place of the Dodd bill rather quickly. All right, so you, that's good, good for you. You want this thing to be even uh, harder than what Senator Dodd has. Let's talk about some of those specifics. Absolutely. Let's talk I think, about, that's, the, I think that's the general. Let, let, let's talk about Garn St. Germain. You want something like Garn St. Germain put back in that was taken away? Not really. What, what we really need here <clears throat> is to make it clear that when a company gets into trouble, a big company especially uh -huh. that's a systemic type company, that when they go down, that the taxpayer isn't going to be behind them to hold them up. Right. Uh, that basically they do go down, that the shareholders get wiped out, that the unsecured debtors get wiped, bondholders get wiped out, and that the company gets reorganized, that it not be continued. And, it, and that's basically the structure we want. But, Senator, isn't it, look, I mean, if you let these guys get away with things and we're not regulating them effectively, if regulators are looking the other way, not all of them, but some of them because they figure, look, you know what, I'd love to get a job on Wall Street someday. If, if we get rid of things like Glass-Steagall that allow both the commercial banks and the regular mom and pop banks to come together and do things, I mean, didn't we know that this kind of stuff was going to happen and don't we need to put some of those things back in that we got rid of? Well, actually, we do need a new regulatory structure, and I strongly support that, too. There are basically four elements to this bill which need to be addressed. Resolution authority, which is what we just talked to, ending too big to fail. Second is reorganizing the, re the uh, regulatory structure so that people can't shop around for the weakest regulator. Third, we need a deri new derivatives regime mm -hmm. in this country so derivatives aren't creating massive exposure that has nothing behind it but paper. And thirdly, we need to have a consumer protection section. All of this can be done, and all of it can be done in a cooperative and, and mature way if we'll just step back and think about it a little bit, look at it substantively, and try to take all this populist politics out of the debate and, and get down to the substance of what we need. That makes sense, but can Republicans... <laughs> I hope so. That, no, no, I mean, it does, <laughs> because sometimes it is easy to... Get, look, this is, I'll tell you what, Senator, it's hard not to be populist about this thing when you almost watch yeah, the that, entire... That, but, <laughs> You know, inevitably populism ends up cutting off your nose to spite your face because you do yeah. things which are responding in an exaggerated way, and they're usually not as thoughtful as you really need to approach something. These are complex issues. They can't, want, they can't be handled with a, with a one-liner. They have to be handled in a, with facing the complexity of the issue and trying to improve the situation substantively, and we can do it. And we actually had basic agreement on these four big issues. So what happened? Between the Republican and Dem We had it before in the committee between the Republicans and the Democratic membership, but, or the majority, I think. But at one time, it's all sort of blown up now. W w yeah, but why is it blown up? I mean, is, does this, is it, is it, is it, let me ask you the question in a very harsh way. Is it possible for the Republicans, and don't take this personally, but is it possible for the opposition party, let me, let me put it not. that way, is it possible for the opposition party to back this reform without losing politically? And are you then not motivated to, ha to have to fight it because you don't want the other guy to get a victory? I, I have the exact opposite view. I think we absolutely need to back reform. And I think Mitch McConnell feels that way. We need a substantive reform bill. And we basically have the outlines of that bill in place. I mean, we had the mm. understandings. They were there. We just have to get back to serious negotiation as versus all this political hyperbole that's going on around here. Uh, on an issue which really shouldn't be partisan. There's, there, there are really no big partisan issues right. in financial regulatory reform, in my opinion. I think you're right. And you sound extremely genuine. And you know what? I'm so, had, I'm so happy that you came on and uh, took our viewers through your explanation. We'll do it again, Senator. Well, Thank you, sir. Pre Thank pre you. Appreciate it. Have a All great right. day. Take a look at this.
We're not extremists. Yeah, we're camouflaged up, running, you know, holding guns, running through the woods.